Christy, welcome to the yoga practice. This is a really nice flow. We are going to get up and get moving, but we're going to take things nice and slowly, really feel into the movement and, you know, just flow along with your breath. Anything that I say during this practice is not an order. It's just advice. I'm just here to guide you. So if anything doesn't feel right in your body, you're always more than welcome just to decide what actually feels good for you and do something completely different, even if it's nothing like what I've said to you. With that being said, this practice is really nice for everyone, even if this is your very first yoga practice ever, it's going to be beginner friendly and I'm going to give options where I can give options. So come on down to your mat. If you want to bring a blanket with you to pop under your hips to help lift your hips up, sometimes that can feel a little bit nicer. You're welcome to bring blocks along to today's practice as well or any practice. And when you're ready, come into a nice, comfortable cross-legged seat. And right away, see if you can sit up a little bit taller. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. So tug a little weight in the elbows. here think about everything in your low body so from the very base of your spine your thighs your lower legs and your feet grounding down into the earth like the roots of a tree so just take a moment to notice your thighs get a little heavier everything get a little more rooted and see if this grounding has made you collapse in the spine a little so try and keep this grounding sensation down through the low body as we roll up and lift up tall through the upper body. So these opposing forces, the feeling of rooting down and also of lifting up. Sometimes I like the image of imagining there's like a little string on the crown of my head pulling me all the way up to the sky. If it feels right, close your eyes or just soften your gaze down past your nose. Listen to the sound of your breath. Notice sensations throughout your body. When you're ready, we're going to keep the right hand on the right knee. Our left hand is just going to swim gently behind us. So open it up into a very gentle twist. And see if you kind of collapsed in, in the chest here. See if you can pull the shoulders back. Keep opening through the chest. And if you feel like you want to go a little bit further, you're going to take your right hand over to your left knee. Maybe walk your left hand just a little further behind. Again, imagine still spreading through the collarbones. And return to the sound of your breath here in your twist. Keep the right hand on the left knee. Left hand is going to swim up and overhead, coming into the side body stretch. So you can come in and out of it a little bit here. Find a little bit of fluid movement in the body. You can keep the fingers nice and soft here. And then we'll take the left hand all the way over to the right knee. 
here you're really going to round through the spine so pulling the belly button sucking it into the spine rounding through the shoulders and i'm really using my hands here on my kneecaps to intensify this and this for me feels like a big opening in my shoulder blades On an inhale, start to roll up. Release the hands up to the sky. And we'll bring them through this cactus shape. So bend the elbows, suck the elbows into the side body. Fingers are spread open through the chest. And hands come back to the knees. Close your eyes and notice how you feel. When you're ready, start to swim your right hand behind, moving into your twist. And if you want a little more, you can start to guide the left hand to the right knee. Right hand might walk a little further behind. On an inhale, sweep the right hand up and over, coming into a little side body opener. So even here, you're staying open in the heart. There is a tendency to round through here, but trying to keep it open to the sky as much as possible. And then our right hand comes all the way over to the left knee as we round through the spine again, pulling the belly button into the spine. On an inhale, start to roll up, reach your hands to the sky and bringing them down through this cactus shape. Really suck the elbows into the side body, open the chest and release the hands back to the knees, this time palms face up, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes or soften your gaze and notice how you feel. We'll look down at our hands, spread through the fingers nice and wide and take it all the way forward onto all fours. Keep this spreading through the fingers like starfish as we move into a tabletop position. So wrists are directly underneath the shoulders, knees are directly underneath the hips, fingers are spread wide. And even here, this is what it looks like if I'm not engaging my core, I'm kind of letting the low back dip. And here is what it looks like if I'm engaging my core. So really pulling the belly button in, my spine straightens out. I'm pressing away from the yoga mat. And just to test this, maybe this is enough for you, you can stay here. If you want to test this core connection, press into the tops of the feet and let the knees hover here. So really still pulling the belly button in and here. I'm thinking about pulling the hands in towards the feet and the feet in towards the hands. And this helps to engage the core even more. Here for five, four, three, two, lower the knees on the one and we'll drop into some cat cow. So on an inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward, exhale to round through the spine. Flowing through this a couple of times with your own breath. So inhale and to drop the belly. And exhale and to round it through.
then we're taking it into our neutral spine again curl the toes under and we're sending the hips up and back to downward facing dog when you get to downward dog pedal through the feet if this is the first downward dog you've ever done in your life play about with how wide your stance is we're still spreading through the fingers you can move around here, try and bring a sense of ease to it. And then we're going to start to crisscross one foot in front of the other, all the way to the top of the mat. So take as long as you need to get there, take as many steps as you need. And I really want you to feel this out here. There will get to a point when you need to manoeuvre yourself into your forward fold. So take the feet about hip width apart today, maybe a little wider if you need a little more stability. Take hold of the elbows and sway a little side to side. I always recommend having a nice generous bend in the knees. Let the hands come to the mat and on an inhale, trace your fingers up the tops of your feet, up your shins, all the way past your knees and all the way to the upper thigh. So coming into this halfway lift here, suck your elbows back in like little grasshopper legs, pull your belly into your spine neck is nice and long and we're in our halfway lift exhale to fold this time inhale we're going to sweep the hands all the way up and overhead fingertips meet at the top they can kiss together up and overhead and then we'll take it all the way back down into our fold again. Inhale, slide us back to that halfway lift. Nice number seven shape in the body. Exhale to release. Inhale to sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold it all the way down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to reach for the sky. And exhale to fold it all the way down. From here, plant the palms, step the right foot back, step the left foot back. You're either here in plank or you can lower the knees for half plank. Wherever you are, that core engagement comes back and again, you're pressing away from the yoga mat. If you're in full plank, heels are actively spiking away. And in half plank, it's the exact same thing. Pressing away from the yoga mat. And on an exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Hands slide back in line with the shoulders. And on an inhale, open the chest for Cobra. Exhale, fold it down. Two more times. Inhale to open up for Cobra. Exhale, release. Last time, maybe a little bit bigger this time. Inhale as you open up for Cobra. And exhale, releasing it all the way down to the mat. From here, curl the toes under 
then you either press back up to plank or to all fours and from there send it up and back into your downward dog take a big exhale through the mouth stretch through the feet from here, really ground down through your left heel. So the action of that rooting it down into the mat, even if your heel comes nowhere near the mat. And on an inhale, lift your right leg up high for three-legged dog. Turn your right toes down the way and kick your right heel up to the sky. So hips should be nice and level here. We don't want to be stacking one on top of the other even if that means your foot doesn't come as high. On an exhale, bring the knee all the way through, knee to nose. And from here, we're going to step that foot all the way up. We'll pivot on the back foot, moving into a warrior two stance. So right toes are facing forward, back toes are in line with the short edge of the mat. As we rise all the way up to warrior two, Hands go left to right. So we've got a deep bend in that front knee. And my head, heart and pelvis is all in alignment with one another. And maybe already this is a lot of work for you. It's a lot of work for me. Moving into Peaceful Warrior. So front hand moves forward, up and back you can look up towards your right fingers this back hand can rest on your back thigh or your low back exhale takes you back to warrior two and moving into extended side angle top of the right arm comes to top of the right thigh left hand reaches all the way up and overhead so think about someone lifting you up to the sky with your fingers and from there if you want you can start to send the fingers all the way to the front remembering that opening through the chest On an exhale, moving from your core, use that to pull you all the way back to your warrior two. Take a deep inhale here. And on an exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat. Plant the palms, step the feet back into plank or half plank. And we'll move through a flow. If you need to belly flop, belly flop. When you get there, Taking a couple of rounds of cobra with your own breath. So every time you inhale, you lift. And every time you exhale, you fold. And then we'll curl the toes under, taking it up to all fours or plank. And then back into our downward dog. Use your downward dog to rest in, so you can exhale through the mouth if you need to let go of any heat. I'm just going to turn this way so that I'm facing you. And we'll ground down through the right heel. So right heel is rooted so firmly to the mat or towards the mat. Then on an inhale, we lift the left leg up high. Again, we're looking to level out the hips here and I'm really kicking away with my left heel. Exhale, knee to nose and we step the foot up. From here, we pivot on the back foot. I'm getting my stance really right before I rise up. So front knees over front ankle, back foot's in line with the short edge of the mat and from there, I can windmill it all the way open to warrior two. Listen to the sound of your breath. Re-establish connection through all four corners of the feet. And into peaceful warrior, front hand moves forward, up and back. 
look up towards your fingers, keep your chest nice and open. And exhale all the way into warrior two. Take a big breath here. And through into extended side angle, top of the left arm to top of the left thigh. Right hand reaches for the sky. And from there, you can bring the hand all the way up and overhead. Re-establish your breath. And exhale, pulls you all the way back to warrior two. This time, we're going to straighten through the front leg. Bring the left toes so that they're also parallel with the short edge of the mat. Inhale, reach the hands up high and wide, coming into star pose. So spread through the fingers. Take up as much space as you possibly can. And on an exhale, we're going to rain the fingers all the way down into a wide leg forward fold. This would be a really good place for blocks if your hands don't quite reach the floor. And fingers can be on the mat or blocks or you can start to take the hands to the legs. Just find a place that feels good for you. When you're ready, bring your hands together at your heart. Slight bend in the knees and we're going to rise all the way back up. Coming all the way back into our star pose. Spread the fingers, bring them wide. And then hands come to heart. So we're almost done. We're going to take it down and chill out. Just one more last little bit. So we're going to turn the right toes out the way. So kind of like we were in warrior two, but we're going to keep the front leg straight. Front hand, right hand is going to move forward, up and back again. So coming into a reverse triangle. So again, imagine someone's lifting your fingers all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands come back out either side, front knee stays as it is. We're going to tip it through into a triangle, so front hand comes all the way down. You can rest the hand on your leg, on the floor, or again, now would be a really good place to get the block involved. You want to stay open through the chest. Exhale. Pulls you all the way back, turning the right toes in, turn the left toes out, and we'll take it straight into our reverse triangle, left hand goes all the way up to the sky. Exhale to bring our hands back out either side before tipping it into our triangle. Both sides are going to be quite different, so you decide if you want mat or block. Exhale pulls you all the way back. Both toes come parallel with one another. And we'll heel toe, heel toe, heel toe the feet in. Bring them in really close together. Bring your hands together at your heart. Notice how you feel and walk it up to the front of your mat. On an inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, folding it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to reach all the way for the sky. And exhale, Fold it on down, 
plant the palms, step the feet back, move through the flow, or you can just head straight to child's pose. We are going to meet you there in child's pose. And you can take the option today if you want a traditional balasana. Knees will be nice and close together. Hands will come behind as you round all the way forward. Or if you want extended child's pose, knees will be wide. Arms reaching out in front. You can always bring a block to your forehead and resting all the way down. Let yourself relax here. Soften the face, soften the jaw. Reach your fingers out in front if they're not already. Claw into the fingertips and use this to pull you all the way back up and through a tabletop position. Cross one ankle over the other and transition yourself back into a seat. Bring your hands together at your heart. Bowing your head towards your hands. Give yourself thanks for taking time for this practice. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through it and I will hopefully see you again. Bye!